أفحسبتم أنما خلقناكم عبثا أفحسبتم أنما خلقناكم عبثا وأنكم إلينا لا ترجعون There is a very popular video game known as PUBG, P-U-B-G, that is spreading all over the world. And it has nowadays become an addiction to all people, that everyone plays it continuously every day. Recently, the new updated version of this video game came out in which a person has to glorify idols in the game to gain weapons and power. Is it haram or shirk to play this kind of game or is it okay if any Muslim plays this kind of game in which we have to glorify idols? Is it permissible to play video games? I would first answer the second question and then answer the first question. As far as video games are concerned, there is a revolution in the past few years and past few decades. I remember when I was a teenager, maybe about 35 years back, there were video game parlors where we had to pay some money and we could for a few minutes maybe drive a car. Not that I was a fan of video games, but I did play a few times in my life. So those are games which is for entertainment and I feel there is no problem at all. But in the passage of time, today we find that there is a revolution and there's a lot of changes that have come. And when you read articles about the video games, unfortunately, most of these video games, they are haram. The reason is that many of these video games, they are mixed with elements which are prohibited in Islam. I'll give you a few examples. For example, there are video games which, in which there are a lot of killing. And the more number of people you kill, the more marks you get and you become a winner. Some of the killings are unnecessary, it's murder. And murder in Islam, killing any innocent human being is the second major sin in Islam. There are some video games which glorify witchcraft, which is the third major sin in Islam. There are some video games which are attacking Islam. And the video game says that if you bomb Makkah, then you get 1000 points. If you bomb Medina, then you get 500 points. So these sorts of games which are belittling Islam and are criticizing Islam and against the principle of Islam, all these are haram. There are many video games in which there is nudity. Today, if, if you have most of the car racing game, I'm told and read articles, in between you will find ladies coming which are not properly dressed. They come in bikini. They come in scantily dressed clothes. Bodies mostly in all this is haram. There is nudity. There is obscenity. You have games in which there is gambling. They have games in which they are drinking of alcohol. So all these things are haram. Even though you may not be drinking yourself physically, but virtually, if it is involving a haram activity, that game is haram. It takes the children away from Islam. And unfortunately, unfortunately, there are many Muslim parents who willingly buy such games for the children. They don't scrutinize whether the game is right or wrong. They say, oh, bacha hai, kid hai, what's the problem? He's not drinking. What's the problem? He's not killing anyone. That's just in a game. These parents are actually taking the children away from Islam. They are ruining their life. If anyone will be held responsible, it's not the child, it's the parents. And today, if they want to get rid of the child or they want to keep the child quiet, they give them the mobile phone. Why give a mobile phone to a child? and let him play this video again, most of which are haram. So if you analyze today's video games, majority, they are involved. Most of them have got music. The music is haram in Islam. They have got such sound effects. So most of these games, if you analyze and if you scrutinize majority, they will lead to haram activities directly or indirectly. So such games, Surely should be prohibited and you should try and keep your children away from them. Afahasibtum annama khalaqnakum abatha wa anna 
لكم إلينا لا ترجعون فتعالى الله الملك الحق لا إله إلا هو رب العرش الكريم